This test will be of a number of thermoplastics, commonly referred to as polymers. A polymer is a long chain molecule made up of small molecules known as monomers joined end to end. Six different types of polymers will be tested according to British standards, which are equivalent to ISO or international standards. The colours of the different specimens are simply pigments to highlight the typical changes expected from them during testing. Thermoplastics can be coloured nearly any colour of choice. The shape of the specimens are referred to as dog bone and are cast in a mould. By using these international British standards, both for the testing process itself and the specimens means that results can be compared from any lab across the world using the same standards and those results can be comparable. Each of the specimens will be tested at a different rate of extension. These different rates of extension are relevant and specific to each type of polymer to give a typical expected plot of force against displacement for each of these. The specimens require measuring that is then inputted into the Instron software which will be conducting the tensile test and the measurements are also needed to calculate the cross-sectional area to be used in the tensile strength formula of force over area. To calculate the cross-sectional area, digital calipers will be used along the gauge length. The gauge length is the centre area here and the full gauge length is at the end of the curvature to the other end of the curvature. These are gripped ends of the specimen and where the curvature from here begins, this is referred to as the shoulder. And where the curvature stops on the other end is the total gauge length, moulded for a length of 80 millimetres. This will be present as a recurring measurement on the software for all specimens. However, marks will be drawn on the specimen for more accurate measurement of ductility post-test. To do this, mark an area with a total gauge length that is 60 millimetres apart. Utilise the pen and metal rule provided somewhere within the central area, and it doesn't need to be perfectly centred, mark two lines 60 millimetres apart. Ensure the lines are clear, either end of the 60 millimetres. repeat for all the specimens. Because of the known distance between the two marks, after a fracture the two halves are brought back together and a new measurement is taken of the distance between the two lines. The new measurement is used to calculate the change in length from the original length in percentage and that will provide the measured elongation of the material. If a specimen breaks outside of these lines, then the total length of another similar specimen will be the comparison for change in length, the total length in this case 180 millimetres. The broken specimen will have its two halves put back together and using the original length against the change in length will be used to work out a percentage elongation for ductility. To use the calipers, turn it on making sure the two parts of the calipers are closed and zeroed. Also make sure the calipers are reading millimetres and not inches. Select a specimen to measure its width and the corresponding thickness in the same location. Then the same in another location along the length and at least three locations should be measured and the smallest cross-sectional area amongst any of the three will have the corresponding width and thickness inputted into the software. 